Uh, all right, online courses with WordPress. Uh, that is me, Troy Dean. I'm co-founder of WP Elevation and Rockstar Empires. And my big passion is the democratisation of education. A couple of case studies to, uh, to get us started. Megan Telpner worked in the advertising industry and she was diagnosed with a rare condition that meant that she was kind of sick and couldn't work. And the doctors told her, look, you're just going to have to manage this for the rest of your life. There is no cure. And she didn't like that answer. So she turned to nutrition and cured her symptoms through uh, cooking. She then started teaching people how to cook in her loft in Canada until she got to the point where she couldn't teach any more people. So because she physically couldn't, didn't have the room to take any more people on, she was teaching six nights a week. So she took her course online. It's called Culinary Nutrition Academy. And she's now graduated over a thousand students in various countries around the world and done over a million dollars in sales. Mark Dawson is a self-published author who uh, learned how to use Facebook ads to sell more of his books. And then he turned that into a course and sold it to other self-published authors. And his first launch, he did $250,000 in his online course. And Nikki Elledge Brown was a park ranger and uh, figured out that she had a bit of a knack for copywriting. So she uh, put a copywriting course up online and went from zero to $300,000 in 12 months. One of the biggest rewards for me as a course creator online is actually getting to meet our students and our colleagues in real life. And this was a mastermind we had in New York City a few months ago. And in fact, we've just come out of a two day mastermind here in Philadelphia, which was overwhelming and humbling and awesome on so many levels. And uh, the, the irony is having an online business, this is probably the most rewarding thing for me is actually meeting these dudes in real life. So the online education market is worth $107 billion US, that was 2015. And just to put that into some kind of context, the blockbuster box office industry is worth $38.3 billion. So for every dollar people are spending going to the cinema, they're spending almost $3 on online courses. And as someone who knows something and wants to help other people, it allows you to go from the one-to-one -one business model of doing consulting to the one-to-many business model by teaching lots of people at once. So who can you teach? Well, I think there are two audiences that you can teach that are the, the low-hanging fruit. You can teach the DIY crowd. So that is someone who wants to know how you do what you do. So if you're really good at SEO, but they can't afford to hire you, they can take your course and learn how to do SEO. Makes sense, right? Or you can teach your peers, which is kind of the space that I play in. So if you're really good at SEO and you know how to run an SEO agency and a PPC agency like my friend Mike Rhodes, then you can teach other PPC agencies how to run their business. And that's kind of what we do at, at WP Elevation. The problem with what are known as massive online open courses is that most people don't finish them. So you spend all this time, you do all this work, you get people to enroll in your course, and the vast majority don't finish it. Like somewhere between two and 10% of the people that enroll in your course are actually gonna complete the course. There was a whole bunch of research done, and I thank my friend Justin Ferriman from LearnDash for putting me onto this research that, uh, that, ha that has tracked analytics across Udemy and Harvard and MIT and all the big online course providers. At WP Elevation, we're getting 65% plus completion rates. Here's how we do it. We start, of course, with the reason we're all here, WordPress. It's free, open source, completely extensible and configurable and adaptable, and it allows us to build beautiful course websites that look like this. Oh, talk a little bit more about the technology in a little while. But our big approach is more carrot and less stick. So I'm gonna show you some examples of what other people do and what we do and how we differentiate. Most online courses talk at you. So this is a, this is a very typical screenshot. Um, sorry to pick on Sensei, I think this is a Sensei screenshot. Anyway, I just grabbed a, a screenshot of an online course platform. And this is a screenshot of you know, a typical online course. So you log in, you start taking this online course, and there's a little voice in the back of your head that says, maybe I'm the only one here. Maybe I'm the only, Who, who's ever bought an online course, by the way? Just a quick show of hands. Keep your hand up if you've bought an online course and not finished it. I think more hands went up then, actually. Which is... <laughs> so the problem is you log in and the online course is talking at you, right? Now, you, you might design a really beautiful UI and have different um, learning modes like visual and audio, but there, there, there's still no real interaction. The, the, the content is just, it's a one-way conversation. We invite you into a conversation. So the first thing you see when you enroll in one of our courses is an onboarding wizard and a stupid little welcome video with me being a bit of a goose. And we ask you a series of questions, then we get you set up in the platform. One of the questions we ask you, for example, is what is your skill set? And if you identify yourself as a copywriter, then we're going to allow you to be matched up with other people in the community who need a copywriter. And then we introduce you to your, oh sorry, the, we continue that conversation by asking you what it is you want to achieve today. 
So we invite you to be part of the conversation rather than talking at you. And the next thing we do is introduce you to your community. A couple of um, uh, ways that we do that here is we just show you who's logged in recently, who the other members are in your community, and there's a Facebook style wall here that shows you what's happening, what is the activity. So straight away you realise that you belong to a tribe and that you've got classmates. You're not insane, you're not the only person who has bought this course. Most courses overwhelm you with content. This is an actual screenshot of a course platform. There are, I think, five pages there. I have no idea where to start. We hold your hand every step of the way. So when you actually enrol in one of our courses, the first thing you see after the onboarding wizard and the community is this, just the one course that you enrolled in. And then during that course, we unlock bonuses to encourage you to complete the modules. So by the time you've completed all of the modules, you've got this beautiful dashboard full of bonus courses but we're not gonna show you that until you've completed the course that you've actually enrolled in because we want to keep you focused, we want you to complete the course. And a little sidebar, why I think course completion rates matter, two reasons. First of all, I actually want our students to complete the course because I want them to get the benefit of the learning. But from a marketing and a business standpoint, it dramatically lowers your cost per acquisition because if they are a successful student, they are more likely to refer their friends to you. Most online courses teach abstract concepts. I'm really sorry if this is actually someone's course, but this is a flowchart that I got from an online course. And I have no idea where to start, and I'm overwhelmed, and frankly, I don't really care because it's way too difficult. We teach using very simple frameworks, very simple step-by-step, -step, follow the bouncing ball, tick things off as they're done. Most courses use long lessons, boring slides, and bullet points. Has anyone read Seth Godin's Death by PowerPoint uh, presentation? Yeah. So this is an actual course, and I've blurred out some details to um, protect someone's, I was going to say privacy, but I'll say reputation. This course actually is really good. The content in this course is really good. But most of it is this. Most of it is like slides with lots of bullet points and a video where nothing changes for 17 minutes and 25 seconds. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't sit still for 17 minutes and 25 seconds and look at one slide with lots of bullet points. It's not a great student experience. We use slides and direct-to-camera for dynamic videos. So here are the screenshots from one of our videos. This is an introduction title card. It's very straightforward. Here's one camera angle. Here's a second camera angle. And here's a nice graphic visualisation to illustrate what it is we're talking about. So they're all one video. We're constantly changing the content and making it dynamic so that you don't fall asleep. And most of our videos are somewhere between five and eight minutes. Anything over 10 minutes, you've got to break that into, a, into, into two lessons. Most courses are just video. So let's go back to case in point. This is just a series of videos that get kicked open in a light box. Again, I've taken this course, the content's really good, but every time I log in, I don't really know where I'm up to, and I've got to watch a whole video again just to see if I've already done this. I can't read a transcript, I can't listen to the audio. So there are four different types of learning modes. We've learned this over the last few years. There's visual, oral, reading and writing, and kinesthetic. So we use video, audio, kinesthetic, by the way, is doing things. We use video, audio, text, quizzes, and homework to make sure that our students actually learn what it is we're teaching. Uh, for example, here's video. Here's some text underneath the video. There's video and audio downloads. Uh, there's a quiz. We use dynamic quizzes to keep students awake, so they're not all multiple choice. It's a combination of multiple choice, there's uh, drag and drop, so you drag things into the right order. Most courses deliver static content. So I go back to another course here that I've taken. Again, great content, but every time I log in, I don't know where I'm up to. It's static. It's not listening to me as a student. We use gamification to keep students motivated. And some of our gamification looks like this. Just really simple progress bars underneath the course so you know what you're up to. And a little tick underneath the, the course on the actual dashboard so you know, hey, I've done that course, I'm going to move on to one of my bonuses. Most courses email you when new content is released, which makes perfect sense, right? We send you emails based on your actions. So if you haven't completed module one, there's no point sending you an email that says, hey, Paul, congratulations on completing module one, module two's just been released. We instead, we'll send you an email that says, hey, Paul, get off your ass and complete module one because module two is about to be released tomorrow. And we also, this is what our, our emails look like. And we also deliver in-app messages based on your actions. And some of you may be familiar with some of these in-app messages you've seen in certain software apps. Anyone seen kind of messages that look like this that pop up in websites and software apps? We use Intercom, by the way, to, to trigger these in-app messages, again, based on your actions and your behavior. And we reward you for taking action. So when you complete modules, we unlock badges that we put on your dashboard, and then we show you 
you know, what's coming up next week. There's a coaching call coming up that you now have access to because you've completed the course, you get access to this bonus content. And we also allow you to download your course badge to, to display on your website and print your certificate, like Karonda Adair from Portland, Oregon, Renee Sedgling from the Netherlands, Melanie Adcock from the US, Christina Hawkins, who is here with us today, uh, Ryan Lavander from the US, Julie Wolpers from the US, and Dave Narav from Mumbai in India. Here's a little snapshot of uh, all of our members all over the world. And this is, this is big because people know that they're part of a community. They know that there are other people all over the world doing the same thing, going through the same journey. So we built this for WP Elevation. We've recently duplicated it to another business we've started called Rockstar Empires, which is where we're essentially teaching creative entrepreneurs how to take their business online and how to leverage. Part of that is teaching them how to create and sell their own course. So just to show you that you can do this outside the niche that, that we play in. You can duplicate this entire system for whatever it is that you want to teach. And we also built it for a buddy of mine, Nathan Chan, who runs a digital magazine called Founder. And uh, this is what his looks like here. All right, according to this, I have five minutes and three seconds left, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the technology that we use, which of course is WordPress. The core then that we put on top of WordPress to drive most of this is of course LearnDash, which if you haven't already seen, you should definitely check out. And the man behind LearnDash is Justin Ferriman, who is sitting in the audience here. You should definitely go and chat to him, but don't shake his hand because he's got the man flu. <laughs> By the way, the man flu is an Australian term for when a man gets a head cold and he believes that he's the only person that's ever been so sick and he's about to die. <laughs> this is what LearnDash looks like. WordPress LMS made easy. And then to build in the social interaction, we install BuddyPress. Thank you very much to JJJ if he's anywhere around for all the work that you've done on that over the years. BuddyPress is basically a social network in a box for WordPress. Um, and then to, to build in some of the gamification, we use Badge OS, which is a great open source badging uh, system built by the guys at Web Dev Studios. This is what Badge OS looks like. We then use this amazing platform that comes from the guys at Buddy Boss in Chicago. It's called Social Learner for LearnDash. And what this does, this actually ties in the social integration of Buddy Press with the learning of LearnDash. So when someone, when one of your classmates completes a module and unlocks a badge, it will display on that Facebook style wall, hey, Brett's unlocked the positioning module and now has the badge. And you go, damn you, Brett, I'm gonna complete the quizzes so I can get my certificate as well. Social Learner for LearnDash looks like this and it is amazing, it's incredible. I can't speak highly enough about it. We use Infusionsoft for all of our email marketing because we like paying lots of money for very confusing software. That's what Infusionsoft looks like. We use Stripe to handle all of our payments because it's easy and it works and they charge less than PayPal. That's what Stripe looks like. And then there is a plugin that integrates Infusionsoft and LearnDash and WordPress and ties it all together really well. But unfortunately, I can't mention it because it's not GPL. So instead, I'll talk about this one, which is called WP Fusion, which is open source. And WP Fusion is a relatively new player on the market, but it basically tags people in whatever email system you're using, so ActiveCampaign, Entreport, Infusionsoft, based on the activity that, and the actions that they've taken in the course website. And that's how we trigger emails when you complete Module 2 and reminder emails when you don't complete Modu Module 2 because you're too busy binging on Netflix. And that's what WP Fusion looks like. We use Intercom for our in-app messages, which is just amazing. It's an absolute game changer. We use Twilio to send text messages to remind people to get off Netflix and get on a coaching call. And that's what Twilio looks like. And we use Vimeo Business to host all of our videos because their price point makes perfect sense and they have great analytics. And everything is built on Amazon S3 and AWS for speed and scalability by our wonderful developer, Ben May from um, the code company who's based in Queensland. I don't understand any of that, but I'm glad he does. All I know is that it costs me a lot of money every month. Uh, that's what Amazon AWS looks like. And of course, we use Slack for internal communications. Who loves Slack? We love Slack. We use Gridix, which is a fantastic, this is an interesting case point in itself. Gridix is this great little analytics tool to measure the engagement of your Facebook groups, and it is built on top of WordPress. So when you log into Gridix to have a look at the analytics in your Facebook groups, I thought this is really familiar. So of course I went view source code. The whole thing's built on top of WordPress. It's a good little case study. So that measures the engagement of our students in our Facebook communities. And we use Asana uh, to try and manage our projects 
internally and to avoid distraction. Uh, so that, ladies and gentlemen, is um, our case study with online courses with WordPress. I strongly encourage any of you, if you think you've got a course in you, now are the glory days for online learning and online courses. There is a huge wave coming and we are all sitting ready to ride that wave. So if you've been thinking about this, now is the time to go home and start taking action. And this technology is making it easier and easier every day. Um, and I think I've got 52 seconds left to just stand here. <laughs>